Hey guys, Shadefire here, taking a first impressions look at Unstoppable Gorg. A uh, sort of unique looking uh, tower defense game. I don't know too much about it, but what absolutely drew me to it was the uh, super 50s retro sci-fi uh, sort of appeal to it. The same sort of aesthetics as something like Fallout. So we're going to jump right in, and I'm hoping to see some amazing live-action cutscenes. Like this. Far beyond the orbit of Neptune, the scientists of space-based Zulu discover Lowell's Planet X. One of the greatest questions of all time has been answered. Man is not alone in space. The world watches as telescopes reveal the strange cities of an advanced civilization. War hero Captain Adam and his fiancée Ariel winner of the Miss Solar System pageant, travel to Planet X to greet our galactic neighbors. Celebration turns to panic as a vast armada of flying saucers is launched. Will Captain Adam arrive in time to save the scientists? Drone is the most basic gorg craft, flying saucer that moves slowly, relentlessly forward, is small and easily destroyed, and defenseless. Alright, so, I guess it gives you a... Uh, it tells you what the new enemies are instead of surprising you with them. As well as a Gorg Mothership. Defend Space Base Zulu by building satellites. Protect the base from harm to end a Defender Metal. Build your first satellite, solar generator, click the generator icon, click the orbit slot. Alright, so pop down our, I guess, resource collector. Yep, just like Plants vs. Zombies, it collects solar energy. Generate money to fill the yellow stat bar and earn an investor medal. Research lab. Is that like our tech tree? Yep. To use in later chapters, that's weird. Is it like, I guess, upgrades carry over once you've completed them? The blue flask bar to receive a research token and earn the scientist medal. Well, the Vulcan, I guess, is probably our basic uh, gunship type thing. Gonna hold it in. All right, so it looks like uh, I guess we can rotate around these orbits to reposition our turrets all over the place, which is probably the uh, main unique mechanic here, I think. Just judging by the look of this. Oh, I wasn't sure if it wanted me to move it or not. Quickly, I want to change something for one second, so I'll be right back. Never mind, turns out it can't adjust it on the fly. I was just going to turn up the uh, game sound a little bit, since all you can hear is the music now. And it looks like we got our pause if we want to st strategize, or our fast forward if you want to... The tutorial does not want me to speed it up. Click on it to see your options. I guess repair and sell. Oh, the path's gone. Oh, okay. So I guess this is why we have the uh, adjustable rings if the path changes after waves. Slide this up here. I guess it would probably be a better idea to build two of these and put them like this, so they pass by both of them. And this is probably the wave meter, I guess, telling you how much of the wave is left. Doesn't seem too complicated. We'll just fast forward. Sounds like that's the end of our level. Oh, it's pretty easy. The tutorials are always easy. Uh, so I guess replay, menu, continue. We're just going to continue right through. I love how the ships are on strings.
filthy earthling, <laughs> power before the most exalted and glorious King Gorg of the Gorg. I have watched your disgusting species spreading from planet to planet like a revolting germ. There is a price to pay for your reckless abandon. I will eradicate your repulsive kind, starting with your queen, Ares. Now that's the kind of cutscene I'm expecting out of this game. No time to mourn as you race towards Neptune, the Gordog Mava. Defend space base Bravo and show the Gorg you are not afraid to fight. What does panic button do? Probably goes back to the menu still. Go get it! New York, the scene of an unprecedented newsreel record as President Culver addresses world leaders. Across the solar system, preparations are made to protect Earth from the relentless march of the Gorg. Liftoff as satellites are sent to defend mankind's outposts among the stars. President Culver tells reporters there can be only one response to the Gorg threat. It's war! Gorg abductor. Okay, so it looks like we gotta pick which satellites we're actually gonna use. No, oh, as it says up here, I wasn't even looking up there. Satellite icons with a chevron can be upgraded to research tokens. You earn tokens by building research labs in each chapter. And we have one right now. Okay, so it doesn't actually upgrade our turrets, it just makes them available to be upgraded now. So, drop down our resource collector. I guess they give you a little bit of leeway at the beginning to build up your defenses. I like the music in this game too. It's very evocative of those old 50s movies though. It's missing that one instrument that they use that is really complicated to play and you play it by waving your hands at it. I know I sound kinda crazy but that's actually an instrument. I can't remember where it has a really crazy name too. Uh, these ships are only worth one resource every time you destroy them. Okay, so these guys, I guess, don't actually attack or anything, they just try to rush past. I can actually just drag my ship along. I thought it wouldn't shoot until it's repositioned, but I guess you can just do it this way and kind of micromanage. Okay, now it looks like... Oh, okay. I thought it was going to split down both paths, but... No dice. So let's put it so it's like this. I think that should probably get all of them. Nope, oh, now they're mixing it up, throwing two at once. So I'll drop down a research thing, let that start running. I think from the sounds of it, you can only have one thing being researched at once. Like, you can only get one token per map. Oh, shit. Alright, so that should hold them off down there, hopefully. I almost have enough to place down another turret. Drop that here. How much does it cost? A hundred to upgrade? Looking good so far. Uh, 
I guess I'll upgrade this one. Since it has the most area to cover. I've got nothing on this axis yet. I'll build another turret as soon as I have the funds available. Oh, that's it. Research token earned. Ooh, new turret. I guess this is our slow but strong cannon. It's one in the eye for Gorg. A humiliating defeat that sends the alien armada scuttling away in shame. As the saucers retreat from Neptune, Captain Adam rushes onwards to Saturn to prepare for the next encounter. Distress call from Space Base Juliet. The Gorg Armada has reached the ringed planet of Saturn. Hold them off for as long as you can. Reinforcements are on the way. Can't quite do the old, uh... <laughs> typewriter clacks. I can't do the old 50s radio voice announcer. That was kind of a lame cutscene. Clear player satellites, making a safe path for drone subjectors. A soldier may be slow moving. It's, okay, so this is basically the counterpoint to our cannon that we just got. Select four satellites, so we still have enough to use all of them. And I guess we should... What would be the point of upgrading research? Faster rate? Uh, I guess we'll upgrade our... Uh, can't upgrade our resource collector. That was too bad. Got a double-headed flower. Okay, so pop down a collector... Lucky for us that the Gorg decided to take the longest possible route instead of just flying straight there. Okay, so I'll probably have to drag this along with it if I want to destroy it. Wow, that thing is just ripping through my sentry gun. So I'll put this down here and let that take care of that thing. And this is going to need to be repaired. Okay, so that start almost went poorly, but now I think I've got things under control. Oh, I can't upgrade it now. I guess you have to assign the research tokens every mission. Oh, shit, they're sneaking in the back. And I don't have enough resources to deal with it! Okay, so once they get past a certain point, it looks like I can't even shoot at them. Well, that went poorly. Let's try that again, because I got wrecked pretty quick. For this worst first one, it might be worth saving up and just buying the uh, cannon, I think. Since obviously the other turret was just getting wrecked by it. And it's really slow, so... Won't have to worry about it getting too far. I'm more worried about getting enough resources to build a sentry before the uh, other path opens up. 130... Fast forward. 140... 150. I'm going to need more than one resource collector for this mission if I'm going to have enough resources to actually keep up with them. Ok, 
Okay, this thing should be able to take care of these little guys, at least the first wave of them. And that'll cover anyone who passes him. Yeah, he deals with those guys in one shot, so... Even if they get past, there's that other gun there. Now this is the one that's gonna fuck me up. Okay, I think it's covered from both sides now. This'll take out the slow guys. Build another collector. Oh shit, where am I gonna put that? I guess I'll just put it on the outer ring. I did not think that through. I'm not used to having to worry about my turret placement in future. It looks like he's out of range now, so that's good. And I can upgrade my cannon. Which I'm going to have to repair shortly. Build a research thing. I don't want to speed it up quite yet, because I feel like I'm going to get screwed over if I do it too quickly. This first line of defense. Okay, I think I've got things covered now. Unless they drastically change up their strategy. I guess I should probably put one of these here too. Speed it up again. Oh, I didn't get a research token. Intraspatial ballistic missile is a long range, fast moving guided missile that homes in on targets, dealing colossal damage to the target and other enemies caught in its blast. Oh, I should have done the voice for that. Captain Adam runs rings around Gorg. World cheers as space base is saved. Well, I think that's a pretty good look at, uh... Totally just lost the name there for a second. Unstoppable Gorg. I think it's a pretty good, uh... Little twist on the, uh... Tower defense genre. The whole moving rings thing is definitely, I think, more interesting keeps you on your feet more than something like uh, you know your typical lay down a bunch of turrets along a path and just leave them there until, until they get destroyed or you need more of them I think it requires a lot more interaction too than your typical tower defense usually you're just sitting there waiting for your resources to go up so you can drop down new turrets to respond to new threats but here you're kind of you only got a couple of places that you can put your turrets down and then you have to move them around and I think that's kind of neat I'm definitely going to play the rest of this. I've heard there's about 20 chapters, so I'm expecting it'll definitely get more complicated as you go through. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, and I will see you next time.